morning class I just wanted to give you an update on our caterpillars last night I did a time-lapse video because I knew they were getting ready to form a chrysalis so here if you look closely at the one on the left um, he or she is going to form its chrysalis and it's pretty amazing to watch I slowed it way down so you could see and it's see how it's pulsating and there it goes it just shed and it is in its final stage of the chrysalis and then now the one on the right it's interesting they're two different colors one's a more of a brown and one's a black then I have some others running around trying to figure out what to do and I'm sure today by the end of the day they will all be in their chrysalis and um, I will film them emerging as butterflies when that process happens, but I will have some fun activities for you to do in Google Classrooms on the life cycle of a butterfly, and um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, go outside, find a caterpillar, put it in a mason jar, and watch the process yourself at home. I challenge you to do that. I know as a kid I did that a lot. All right, our chrysalis, inside the chrysalis, there was a lot going on. They're ready to emerge. Um, when the caterpillar went into its uh, chrysalis, it turned itself into a caterpillar soup. It released enzymes that dissolved all of the tissue um, so it could reset. Um, there were three imaginal discs which would tell the caterpillar to reform as a butterfly and each disc contained certain body parts that it was assigned to recreate and that is what is happening inside that chrysalis uh, watch closely as this um, chrysalis changes colors as the butterfly is ready to emerge it is so interesting to watch there was actually flux of gold you could see gold sparkling in there um, this was a 15 hour time lapse. It's what it took for that butterfly to pop up right there. And that little blood drop, that was its first poop. Um, this is pretty much how I feel when I wake up in the morning. And how about you? Look at that poor little antenna. Um, but it does take a while for their wings to dry and straighten out. Um, not as long as it took to emerge from that chrysalis. Um, that was a 15 hour time lapse video that I um, put together. It's 15 hours of my phone being used um, for this purpose. So, but it worked out. Um, there's two of them there. That's one that has completed the transformation. That one still is waiting for its wings to dry and straighten out. But it's a pretty amazing process and I was glad I was able to share this with my students something that we usually do inside the classroom. I am grateful for technology and um, the ability it gives me to still share some fun educational um, moments with my class. I miss you guys. We'll see you on Google Classrooms and I will be releasing these butterflies outside probably in the next couple days we will observe them trinity loves um, watching them and observing them she also caught a caterpillar and it has cocooned one of the fuzzy woolly ones so we'll have to watch that one come out from its cocoon